if you find the Quran is the word of God, then mean you take the account of Quran that says about Abraham and you'll become a Muslim. Now all you... I am studying uh, here in Arabic language. Because Arab knew that Abraham religion was the correct one. Why? Because he was preaching pure monotheism. Abraham teaching was in line with what God commanded him to do. So if someone followed Abraham, his way will be corrected. So those four sincere people, right? Four sincere people in the Sirah mentioned, and one of them um, is his name is Waraka bin Naufal. Have you heard of his name? Just heard it. So yeah, yeah. So Waraka bin Naufal, he was one of them. He was searching in the time of idolatry become prevalent in all over Arabia. Like, how did it start? This is an important aspect we need to know. Okay. Why idolatry start? If Abraham was preaching monotheism, then how did idolatry start? So, well, we know from the history books and the, uh, the, uh, and the book of Sirah, we knew that from Arabia specifically, there was a guy called uh, Amr ibn Luhay al Khuzai. Okay. Yeah. So, he was a chieftain of a, a tribe called Khuzai, basically. Mm -hmm. Amr ibn Luhay. So, he, he was. He went to Amalekite, which is in Syria, okay. and then he saw they were worshipping those paganism, meaning they were worshipping statues, stones, and different things, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, they were technologically and other way they were de developed people, right, in Amalekite. So what he did, he thought, okay, their religion could be also developed, meaning, let me take their view. So what he did, he introduced the idolatry to the Arabs. When he was introduced idolatry to the Arabs, the first idol they used to worship was called Hubal. Yeah. Now, within that, there are a group of people who are looking for the religion of Abraham. And I would classify you on that. Yeah. Now, how did Revelation address Abraham to us? This is an important element of Muslim understanding yeah. that what was the belief of Abraham? Number one, we need to look at three things here. What was the, who was Abraham? What is his belief? What did he command us, us to do? Now, if you find a religion who is following the Abraham's true teaching and belief, of course your destination will be following that religion, correct? Let's look at number one point. What was Abraham's belief? Monotheistic? Yep. Purely monotheistic. Yep. Does it in line with Islam? Yes. Correct. Number two. What did Abraham told us to do? Worship? God alone. Yep. So acceptance of God in one side and worship in God in the second point. Yep. Those key principles maintained by Islam, nobody else. Okay. Therefore, Prophet Muhammad. Well, he, there's the, all the other Jews, Christians, they're all going to say one God and worship God. So they're all on the same page so far. Yeah? No, it, it is, I would clarify. Yes, it is one God. Okay. But the understanding of one God needs to be explained. For example, where the Jews are Christian diverted from the true monotheism. So what we say, they are believe in one God. But actually, do the Christian believe in one God? No. Because yeah, they are making, yeah, no, yeah, exactly, yeah. they are making, they exactly, them. exactly. So you know that. Yeah. We come, when come to the Jews, what yeah. happened? They don't have Trinity. But how can I say he, they are not, have the correct understanding? Because okay. God has names and attributes. Meaning, God has some characteristics. In order to know the God, we need to know the characteristics of the God. Like for example, characteristics God, of God. God, like for example, do you think God, gets tired after doing anything. No. Okay. So this is something I will explicitly mention in the Old Testament. God created the heavens and the earth in six days and seventh day he rested and refreshed. So this is completely a violation of God's understanding. So therefore we say this is not the pure monotheism of understanding of God. Let me let me in line with Abraham now. Let me in line with Abraham. David, let me stop you. Yeah. Does he rest? You're taking the word rest as if he's fatigued or tired. Yeah. It just means he stops. 
Instead of just took a break, I stopped. It. I mean, it's the translation of the world because now you're going to go, is he still creating? No, he finished. At some point, the argument is, God just finished. He created, and then he stopped. He said, it's good. That's what, that's what, they, no, but that's what, they what we need to do is, here we need to do exegesis. There yeah. is a thing called exegesis, yeah. and there are a thing called eisegesis. Eisegesis is, I am putting my word to the scripture. Okay. What we need to see is, we need to look at how the scripture speaks itself. Okay. So when God used those terms, Old Testament used God attributes and God natures are very loosely. For example, Elohim, Moses referred as Elohim, which is a God. But did Jews believe Moses is God? No. This was not the understanding. They believe a higher being. Okay. So what we are saying is that proper understanding of God or understanding of what is oneness of God has been corrupted. Okay, so unless you are yourself talking to God, so I have two questions. One, I don't know if it's questions or statements. I guess it's statements. If you are talking directly to God and getting it from God's word from God, you're okay. Anything else, you're interpreting. You're interpreting from God, or you're interpreting from a book. Or interpreting. That's why there's different kinds of Christianity, different kinds of Islam, and that's why the religious yeah, people, everybody I mean, wants to I mean, say their I, opinion. I mean, there is a difference between different types of Islam and different types of Christianity. In Islam, nobody believes God is three in one. So we believe, the right, core concept is, that's right. oneness of God, right? Well, there's some, some but, Christianity but in, in Christianity, you'll have you know, Unitarian, Trinitarian, and Unitarian, right? But see, that, I don't want to, because everybody has talking points about the different religions. I want to, that's, the interest is, what did Abraham believe? Okay. Abraham had never heard of Muhammad. Abraham had never had seen the Quran. He'd never seen any of that. And yet, they say, no, he's a follower. Uh, in the Quran, it says explicitly, it, it identifies great prophets. Moses, Adam, Esau, Jesus, on and on. Abraham, I and mean, this great prophet. And yet, none of them had ever seen the Quran. So, none of them had ever read the Quran. None of them had met Muhammad. I mean, they'd never heard of any. That, it wasn't existent yet. I, th I, 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 I think you are talking another so topic reading, which... No, I would no. say you have to be reading no. it backwards because it happened thousands of years, 3,000 years before Muhammad. Let, let me clarify Abraham. one thing. Okay. Who will be coming as a prophet and who will be not coming as a prophet, that is a factor deciding in the hand of God. Sure, but right. I'm going to give that to you. I mean, that, no, you like I said, like for example, you? when... No, no, no. I'm, let me add some more point so it will... It will be more, I would say, comprehensive. So, God is choosing messenger, right? We agree on that? God chooses his messenger. Right. right. So, Abraham is completely unaware that who will be coming? I don't know. No, because Abraham makes prayer. What prayer he makes? He said that make leaders from my progeny. Bless my nation. In both in the Quran and, and in the in, in the New uh, Old Testament, yes. so God will bless Abraham's progeny through both of his sons. So God will bless Abraham's progeny through right. both of his sons. Right, right. And, and he did it. And he did we it. Agree. Uh, we did it. That it. And, and where are they? Now we look at all of them, all of the claims. We have Moses. We have Jesus. We have Muhammad. We have Zachariah. We have John the Baptist. We uh, have uh, Joseph, Jacob. I mean. And then you have numerous number of prophets, right? Yeah. What we need to look into, it is their core message. All of them, their core message. Even if you look at Jesus Christ's core message. Like, for example, when the Jewish person came to him, Jesus Christ, in Mark chapter 12, when the Jewish teacher came to him, what is the most important command? And what did uh, 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 the man responded to Jesus' question? The first commandment is to, there is only one God. And, 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 and something else, and something else is more important on that topic is, there is no other God beside that God. So, if there is a chance of having multiple gods, that has been eliminated.
on that question. Yeah. Now we're, we'll agree on no multiple yeah, yeah, gods. Yeah. This is why. Now let me go back to Quran. Abraham, yeah. Let, let, me, let, let, let me let me go back to the crux of the matter. So the number one thing has got to be stop killing each other. That'll oh. be that's that's what's pleasing to Allah. Of he, course, he of course. Pay that, no, he Allah. Of course, right? I'm sure you know that Allah mentioned in the in Quran that if you kill a single soul, as if you kill entire humanity, yeah. and if you save a soul, as if you save entire humanity. So the God's mercy, forgiveness, and how He God, God wanted to establish the justice, He laid down the rules. Now let's look back where um, I think he is, if I'm not mistaken, that's in chapter three. What was what was the what was the parallel discussion with the Jews and the Christian with in regards to Abraham? Because we are in, the important fact of the matter. He was talking about Abraham's faith, his belief, and what is his way. So now let's go back to church. So, so I'm going to show you three books. But see, I'm going to agree with what you said, and you probably preached it to your people before. But Abraham was before. Moses, who was before Jesus, who was before Muhammad, who was before... So something existed there. But we have to... And so in the same manner that you can say, Quran is the word of God. Do you know why I liked it? Do you know why I liked it? Do you know why I liked it? You're going to find it now. Do you know why I liked it? You have to have the patience to read with me. Three lines, yeah? Okay. So it's starting on chapter 3 verse 64, it's saying, O prophet, O people of the book, let us come to common term that we will worship none but Allah, associate none with him, nor take one another as lords instead of Allah. But if they turn away, then say, bear witness, we have submitted to Allah alone. So Allah is asking us to tell people of the book to come to a common term and we worship none but Allah. That's the core message, right? Only worship God. Right. Now, what you said is very important here. And now it's addressing to Ya Ahl al Kitab. So, this is a specific commandment only addressing to the people of the book. And who are the people of the book? The Jews and the Christians. Okay. Now, Where Allah. Where did they get the book? No, Ahl al Kitab. Not the book itself. Ahl al Kitab, the people of the book. Scripture. Yes. Yeah. Though they receive the scripture. There is one thing called receive the scripture and one thing is have the scripture intact. That's a two different thing. But, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to that here. I'm going to address that things I said. You made a very important point. That's yes. what I'm going to address now. Now, Allah is asking a question. Why do you argue about Abraham? While the Torah and Gospel were not rebuilt until long after him. Exactly what you are indicating yes. that they came after Abraham, yes. not before Abraham. Now look at that. Allah didn't just stop here. He said, Afala Do you not know? think? So Allah is asking us to contemplate, wake us ourselves up from the, the, the sleep mode that we created by ourselves, right? Now, now taking another point. Here you are, you disputed about what you have little knowledge, the perception of Jesus. So they were say Allah is saying, Allah is knowing. That they have little knowledge about Jesus, but why do you now argue about which you have no knowledge? Abraham was being Jews or a Christian, so they are referring Abraham as a Jews or a Christian, but Allah denying that point, and Allah knows you do not know. So they were attributing Abraham with Judaism and Christianity, and Allah is saying, well, Allah gave the book. That's right. Yes. I mean, yeah. In the Quran, he, Allah says, "Let's finish I gave that. The book. Let's finish I that." I gave the scriptures. I gave the Let, book. Let's finish that. Let's finish the no, last time. Last, like, you last never last. say anything I disagree with. No, no, no. So I'm trying to get, I'm trying nah, to get something. Th this is the final. The final bit okay. is very important. That's okay. why I wanted to give you. The, I didn't want to jump into the final bit before I'm showing you the pre-context. Okay, go ahead. Now Allah is with authority, saying, "Ma kana Ibrahim Yahudiyan wala Nasrani." So Ma is something negation so God is straight away saying Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian so true true not a yeah. Christian now who is he then well let's look at the time now, when Muhammad no, 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 up. No. The, the Jews and the Christians were okay they, they, it is now long past the beginning. now let's look at what now we negated Abraham is not a Jew or not a Christian not who is he then 
he submitted in all uprightness. Okay. Hanif and Muslim. Muslim someone means submit and surrender. Sure. Linguistic. And someone who has submitted themselves to Allah and was not a polytheist. Yeah. So Abraham was not a polytheist. Yeah. So now, yeah. this is final nail in the coffin, basically. So we have negated what is not Abraham belief, so that we surely know what is Abraham correct belief. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, so you have to, you have to get honest and go. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, Christianity I'll, I'll, over nah. here didn't exist back then. Of course, there I was agree. only totally. Catholics. There was only Catholics. And totally so agree. Saying whatever Catholics were doing in the year, yeah, what, totally what, agree. When was Allah? I mean, uh, Muhammad was 640. So he's roughly around 600 after Jesus Christ. So it's about 600. And, and in between Jesus Christ and Moses, around 1400 to 1500 years. Okay. So so this so is a rough timing anyway. Which is 1400 years ago. Whatever he was calling Jews and Christians didn't even exist. He's, he's, what we know today as Judaism or Christianity did not exist. This is all way perverted. Right? This is way different. Like Moses didn't have ringlets, Moses didn't wear a kippah, Moses didn't... Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. I know you are conflating two things. Here, let me address you. The time of Abraham, the Sharia, the way of life that we have, is different than back then. Right. Right. But I'm For saying example, it's different than when Muhammad was here. When Muhammad's talking about yeah, of Jews course. and Christians, these people, no, what we call Jews and Christians today wasn't even, didn't even exist. There are, are, there are teachings which has been abolished, but... The concept of God and the worship has never been changed. Like for example, in the time of Prophet Muhammad, while he was alive, donkey meat was allowed. Donkey, donkey meat, donkey, you know, meat of donkey. Okay, yeah. okay. But God sent revelation. So what does it mean? It means, it tells you, indicates you, donkey meat was allowed before. So, so what gives me more is God... There is revelation. Of course, exactly. God, God yes, gives exactly. revelation. And God That's gives revelation God based on... Today. God gives revelation based on the specific uh, uh, the time and community. But one thing God never changed is His divinity, message of His divinity, whether He is sure. one and to worship Him. Now, sure, that, sure. right. Now, in, in time of Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was, why he was mentioning all those prophets? He doesn't have, he doesn't know, he doesn't know anyone. I think because he's on it. He looks and he looks at all the different religions and says, there's these guys, there's these guys, and he... No, and no, no, no. Jibril, you know, Gabriel no. And I th I th no, that's, that's wrong. How I tell you? When there was a chapter called Surah Al-Qasas in, in the Quran, right? This is rebuilt in Mecca. In Mecca, there is no Jew. When he migrated to Medina, then there were... Uh, in the outskirts of Medina, there are three tribe, tribe living. Banu Quraida, Banu Kainuka, and uh, Banu Kainuka, Banu Quraida, and Banu Kainuka, okay, Banu Quraida. This is another one, sorry, it's not coming okay, so there's, there's And then you have another two pagan tribe, which are Asan Hajraj. So, when he was talking about all those message, he was not in contact with any Jews or Christian around. In fact, it's not needed because they get confused why Prophet Muhammad is talking about God sending human messenger. This is a. A foreign concept to them. How can God communicate it to the pagan Arab? So when they heard Prophet was reciting Jesus, Moses, Abraham, it's shocking to them because they would say, "Oh, did God communicate to human being with human messenger?" This was a, a real shocker. Then Prophet saying, "Oh, look at the Jews." But he does something. I mean, Gabriel, for example, comes as an angel. Angel. Yeah. Other times he comes in, in human form. In human form. Yes. Yeah. So. So you get messengers from God that come as angels, you get messengers from God that come to look, look like humans, and yet they're not God. And so, how does Abraham know? How, how, how would people know? Okay, so what, when... A when messenger or not a true <coughs> Very good question. So when Abraham also faced messenger, they came when the Sodom and Gomorrah would be destroyed. God communicated. Angel, angel sent, angel came to Abraham. They informed about... The issue that, that, that destruction will befall in the Sodom and Gomorrah. So Abraham also aware of yeah, exactly and the Lord, 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 Lord exactly Lord. yeah. So this was already informed. Abraham was already informed by God. So how does he do that? Is it angels or how does so he tell? So God, of course, God used angels 
to do the stuff in the universe. For example, angel is responsible for taking our soul. Angel is responsible uh, for bringing us rain. So these are their tasks. So they never disobey God. They follow the command of God. So when we're talking about Prophet Muhammad, so he was relating the story. And Allah mentioned that you didn't know and I am revealing it to you. So that's clearly Allah is telling us this information cannot be known because he is not in contact with any Jews or Christians. Neither he has access to all this material. So well, at some and, point he had access because it's in the Quran, right? No, wh when, we when you say access, the access is with Jibrail and Allah is sending message through Jibrail. Yeah, that's, that's the access. And Allah is telling him the story that is completely unknown. Like for example, let me give you a test. Okay, when, I'll just take it. No, I'll, I'll teach. I'll, when the pagans, pagans cannot uh, challenge Prophet Muhammad intellectually and they are losing all the plot, they said, okay, go back to the Jews and ask them to bring some tough questions so that we can stop him. And the Jews given some questions. I'm like... Jews given some question, right? Jews given some question. And one of the question is, they said, if he answer you, if he answer you, he is not a true prophet. And they ask you, what is ruh? Means what is soul? Soul, ruh, soul, ruh, soul, soul, yeah. Spirit. yeah. Soul. Then prophet said, I will tell you later. Meaning, that another way proves is, that he doesn't speak from his own desire. So he has to, he is waiting for the revelation and when the revelation comes, what did he say? This is a prophet? Muhammad peace be upon him. He doesn't Salaam. speak by his own desire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, he... I, I got to stop you. How about Adam eating the fruit? No, Adam's I'll, a great I'll, prophet. No, we will go back to that question. From God and then... And, and from yeah, you need to go through this way, yes. And then, and then he had one commandment, which is that tree, don't eat, don't, don't eat that tree. And he goes, ah, I forgot. So... No, I, I'll, I'll come. I'll, I'll go. It's complicated. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that. But I, I'm, I'm addressing Prophet Muhammad here. Okay. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was new. He was getting this information from God, the real message of those prophets and their belief. Because this itself shows. This it false shell shows a a great deal of that he is a, indeed a prophet of God. Beside, of course, his character is one side. You know, no one can challenge his character, his truthfulness, his claim about the reality. Now, when they had prophet responded, what did he respond? That the ruh is the command of God. That is the command, command of God. God. Yeah. Okay, so it's not, I thought it was Jibril. No, no, no. Jibril, no. Okay. Some okay. of the translations say that. Okay. Jibril is referred as Ruh al Amin or Ruh al Qudus. Okay. Right. Okay. But when we are talking about the Ruh here, Yas Aluna Kuli Ruhu min Amri Rabbi, it's itself Ruh. Ruh means the command of God. Okay. And then, and God mentioned that how He executes His command. Like, for example, Allah said in chapter 36, Innama Amruhu is a Arada Shayim and Yakulullahu Kun Fayakun. So whenever He will to do something, he just say, kun vaya kun and it is. Okay. Right. So, the command, through his command, everything happened. Sure. So, everything in this universe, apart from him, everything is created through his command. Right? Ruh, also his command. Just like everything else. Now, even the jinn, even the bad guys. Everything. 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 Guys, guys, yes. everything. And now, so if something bad happens, it's Now, let's go back to, uh, you mentioned um, Cain and Abel, right? Uh, I was talking about Adam this week. Mm -hmm. Last week I was talking this one was simply Adam who was created by God himself, by Allah himself, given one command. That tree right there, don't eat that tree, don't even go near it. Uh -huh. And he goes, but he did. He no, but I, I think uh, the Islamic story of creation goes like that. They, both of them, out of forgetfulness, they eat the fruit. So it's not like they well, make the conscious. That's what I'm saying, yeah. that's not a very, come on, God made a forgetful prophet. You said God made him, and then if you forgot, it's like... God. No, I think I think you didn't get the main point. Well, I'll tell you why. No, it shows the word... No, 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 Adam, I, I understand. Adam I, was in the garden. No, I understand, and I'll, I'll, I'll respond to you. 
insan, the nisyan, the insan, the root of insan, right? It comes from a, a, a root word, nisyan, right? Meaning someone who is forgetful. So, the whole point, the whole point was God is preparing Adam so that he can be tested. So the forgetfulness, weakness, so Allah mentioned man was created weak. Man was created forget in, in a nature that he will forget, right? So these are nature of human beings. We will have weakness, but at the same time, we will also have some strength zone, like for example, right? So mankind, it shows that mankind was ready for a test. The whole point of this, drawing this scenario and giving an example to the whole mankind, that look, mankind are forgetful. Mankind are forgetful, they will eventually forget. But those who turn away, after forgetfulness, like if I make a, a mistake in forgetfulness and then realize I made the mistake, I should turn away back to God and ask for forgiveness. Sure. Now, this is the nature of who? Adam. Because Adam did go back to God and ask for forgiveness. What happened to the, on the hind side? The devil. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the devil tempted. Yeah, so, yeah, he tempted. Did he say, God, I made the mistake, please forgive me? No. This is an interesting point here. He said, allow me, allow me to distract your humans that you will send to the earth and I will misguide them. I will come from front, right, left and every direction. And you know what Allah said? I will give you this, but every time my servant Come back to me with repentance, I'll forgive him. So that's where we placed as a test in the earth, and Allah said, In the Jail Fil Ardi Khalifa, Allah sent as a nominee to this universe to worship him and do not uh, worship beside him. That's that's the hell of it. Any other question? I think we have. So look at chapter 3. Can you tell me? Abraham.net. Yeah, but, no, but no, you, it's just a one pager. If you agree with this, you go look. No, what I said is, I have shared with you the core message of Abraham and his belief. If you really care about Abraham, then Abraham was someone as a Muslim. But you can't know his whole message. You just live here. What do you mean by that? Of, how, okay, how do we know message? God's message? Right? Through either history, through revelation. Right? Now we have Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a historical prophet. And also we have supported a revelation, right? Okay. Now, did he mention about Abraham? If he mentioned about Abraham, oh, you that, about Abraham, right, exactly. Now, we cannot go back to historically prove Abraham. Neither we can prove Jesus Christ, neither we can Moses. But only historical prophet is Muhammad peace be upon him, right? Now, if Muhammad peace be upon him, bring him everyone into that chain, that means they are also proven. Okay, but the problem is, Muhammad peace be upon him, gave us the Quran, and the Quran talks about all those people. Yes, correct. So you have, unless you're going to say, hey God, I put on blinders, I don't want to look at all that other stuff in the Quran, then we have to look in the Quran about all of that, because because Allah gave that to mankind. Uh, the most recent time was Muhammad, and so you have to say, if you're going to look at Qadith, you have to look back and look at all the prophets that, that are specifically spoken about within the Quran. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I think objectively you can look into whether the Quran is indeed word of God. If the Quran is word of God, now if we narrow it down, the search criteria, now if you find the Quran is the word of God, then mean you take the account of Quran that says about Abraham and you'll become a Muslim. Now okay. all you... Hold on, I gotta stop you. What do you study in university? I am studying uh, BA in Arabic language. Okay, so in university, they give you exams, they give you tests, right? Yes, they say, correct. true or false, true or false. Yeah, and yeah. there's a way of knowing what's true and false. None of that's in the Quran. That's not, there's, there's two things everywhere. There's two things that God, that Allah, His world is filled with truth. You don't know all truth. I don't know all truth. But as you go through life, you can look and go, is this true or is this false? And you have to go, oh, there's a way to know by hearing it and then applying your soul, your thing that is, that is made by Allah to tell you true or false, true or false. And you have to do that with everything. 
I'll, yeah. I'll tell you, I tell you, very important question you ask. So if the Quran is true, then none of them are true. Do you know why? Because Quran not only tell you what is true, it will also tell you what is falsehood. And no, it don't. It does. Because that's why you need the Hadith. No, it does. I mean, you have to no, it does. I'll tell you why it does. It doesn't talk about, it doesn't okay. talk about computer let's, science. No, no, no. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about... So I have to run this. Uh, now, let's, if you just look over yeah. yeah, yeah. So, no, no, no. If you just look about the passage, the passage we have demonstrated. So Abraham can't be Jew in Quranic principle. So therefore either Quran is right or Quran is wrong. So it can't be true. I mean, the, the Judaism, Christianity and Islam cannot be true in one sense. Either one, have the, one of them have to be correct and other has to be false. Because problem, it's contradictory. The problem is you're talking about Judaism and Christianity 1500 years ago. Not, not this. None of this existed. No, but so the core message ever, is still there. So I don't know. I don't think so. I no, core message. I think, I think no, no, no. Core message is a made-up thing they made of up. Of course, but, but for example, they, they made up all kinds of stuff. Of since then, in the I last mean, we are not in disagreement. Years, That's why the whole point of Quran is here. Why? Because God, God have seen that the humanity uh, did receive the totality of guidance. So He sent a final messenger to clarify those issues. So now, and why not? Why not? Stuff in your brain and my brain today. Why not accepting the oh, last okay. and final message? That's your next job, yeah. Anyway, Zakallah khair, make dua for him. Assalamu alaikum.